Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Derek from Oroville, California. Not quite in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada anymore. We moved down off of the hill in the foothills, down closer to town. We're still up in the hills. We have uh, oak trees and pine trees across the street, but we're in a more suburban environment now. <clears throat> it's been a while since uh, I address you guys, and the reason that we're doing it today is uh, because I just ended up testing positive for COVID-19. Now, let me tell you, there are some uh, definite signs that are completely different than any flu. And it goes like this. First of all, I'm fully vaccinated. I uh, was finished my uh, vaccination series back in January and uh, <clears throat> went along just fine until uh, last night when I started feeling eh, just kind of a little off, uh, a little under the weather, kind of achy, a little headachey. And I'd had a headache from the day before, kind of on and off, took Advil and it all went away. So, <coughs> pardon my coughing. Uh, another sign, but coughing is also the sign of a regular flu. I also had my flu shot this season. So, last night felt a little kind of, uh, went to bed, woke up every once in a while feeling kind of cranky. Uh, got up this morning and uh, felt a little off and decided, you know, I the COVID, uh, the COVID creep uh, got to me. And I ended up gaining too much weight. So I said, I'm getting on. I'm, I'm not going to forego exercising. I'm going to get on the uh, pre-core. <clears throat> and did an hour on the, uh, the pre-core this morning. And after I got off, I felt a little better. Took a shower. Turned on the hot water. Got the steam going. That was, that was nice. I had this uh, kind of stuffiness. And that stuffiness went away. So that was, that was starting to feel a little bit, uh, a little bit better. <clears throat> Later on this afternoon, I started feeling a little bit off again. Not nothing big, but kind of my hips were a little, ugh, a little twingy. Uh, but I figured, you know, yeah, I just did another hour on the pre-core. Maybe that was it. Um, but I'm starting to kind of plug up a little bit more. So I'll have a cup of tea. So I made a cup of tea, mug of tea, actually. Good English breakfast tea. Steep for six minutes. Loose leaf. And uh, <clears throat> took a drink of it, and I could not taste the sweetener. So I thought, oh, no, I didn't put enough sweetener in. So I, I have two sizes of sweetener um, spoons. So I grabbed the, I figured, well, I figured, well, I put the small one in. So I put another scoop in, stirred it up, took a sip, could not taste it. Yeah, all it tasted was like warm water. Actually, it didn't even taste like water. Well, uh-oh, so uh, I have some uh, new car smell uh, spray that I spray in uh, the man van every once in a while to keep it, uh, keep it fresh. And I got out that, I got that out, <clears throat> sprayed it around, and it's pretty obnoxious stuff. And I could almost barely discern a scent. I said, uh-oh, that's, that's a problem. So we have uh, some Abbott test kits from uh, our prior cruise and our, and our upcoming cruises that uh, we have in stock. So I figured, you know, the number one thing, if you lose your sense of smell, even when you're not plugged up, I'm a little more plugged up now, and you lose your sense of taste, uh, <clears throat> that's a 99.9% .9 chance you've got COVID. Uh, so I took the test and I did the nasal swab, put the nasal swab in, and within just a couple of seconds, bam, that positive red line came up, just bright red. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm positive for COVID. <coughs> and feeling a little worse today, or now, a couple hours later. Uh, so we're uh, praying that the, uh, that the vaccination series uh, holds. And who knows, maybe even the flu, uh, the flu shot may have helped uh, kick the, the uh, <clears throat> old uh, immune system up a little bit. Who knows? 
but uh, very thankful that I have the vaccination series done and that I'm not facing the possibility of uh, COVID without the vaccine. That is a scary proposition. I hear people say, you know, the, the chance of you dying from it is, no, the chance of you getting it <clears throat> is, if you take the precautions, is fairly slim, um, probably about as much as getting the flu. But you know how many people get the flu? Uh, I know people who have died from COVID. I know people who have had COVID. Uh, I don't, I don't really know anybody who doesn't a know somebody who has or had COVID or has died from COVID. You don't hear that about the flu. Uh, <clears throat> rarely, rarely in uh, in your lifetime will you have somebody who gets the flu and dies. This stuff is nasty. So there's all these people who said, they say, oh, 99%, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know what? <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's big talk for the people who don't have it. Uh, unilaterally, people who get it say, you don't want this. So <clears throat> hopefully uh, we're praying that this will be a, a mild case because of uh, the vaccination or a lot milder than if it hadn't have been. So we'll keep you posted. Um, I'm inside right now, not outside, because I just didn't want to have my neighbors be sitting outside and uh, have me go over this and have my neighbors freak out. <clears throat> but my shed is done. Uh, at least the roof is on. The, the shingling is done. The, the gable vent is on, or the roof vent is on, ridge vent is on, the ridge cap is on. Uh, I put the, uh, I put the latch in yesterday. I still have to put a threshold in and then put the locks on the, uh, the off hand door. But, uh, after we do that, I am going to close in a little bit more of the loft and, uh, it will be ready to having, have other things occupy that, uh, that shed and, Hopefully, I'll be uh, well enough to get all that done. In the meantime, oh, my word. Uh, get out there and do something. If you can't go outside, uh, jump on a, jump on exercise equipment. Uh, I'm still waiting for some parts for my uh, elliptigo uh, so I can go back outside and ride that. So in the meantime, I have my pre-core and I have, a, uh, have my spin bike and... Uh, been doing iFit uh, training on that, and then uh, just too little long on the pre-core, having a grand old time. And so far, I've lost 15 pounds. You know, you can't lose weight outside of diet and exercise. Well, you can. There's one other way you can do it. It's called disease, and you don't want that. So stay safe, stay healthy, keep exercising, and we'll see you, hopefully, out on the road.